Hello there guys and welcome back to another Rust video. In today's video we will be going over the top 3 ways to build a trap base without using any electricity. These bases and techniques will show you what it is like back in the days prior to electricity and will show you not all good trap bases require electricity. But before we get into this sexy video, make sure you guys like, comment, share and subscribe for all the good good guys. Make sure to support the channel and with all that out of the way, let's get right into it. Firstly we have the Dirty Russian. Yes, that's its actual name. A trap base built and designed completely by Rust Daddy, a trap base creator. This base design is amazing and you only need 1.4 thousand wood and 4.8 thousand stone which is extremely easy to get and for deployables you will need one tool cupboard, a reinforced glass window, two code locks and a double wooden door. This will allow you to get the base shell down and as soon as that's down you can start working on the trap base properly. So once you have those things you're good to go. Now this trap base also has the benefit of having many safety mechanisms such as anti-deep traps meaning if a player tries to go deep they are stopped and this is reinforced multiple times. You will then need 1,000 wood and 5.6 thousand stone to get started on the rest. For deployables you will need two code locks and two sheet metal doors. For the interior and furnishing you will need 400 wood and 2.4 thousand stone. And for deployables, eight shotgun traps, which will be allowing you to place them in ways automatically killing all players that face them. Four rugs and two reinforced window bars and two garage doors with code locks will also be required. Now to finish the trap base you will be required to use 1.2 thousand wood, 6.3 thousand stone, and for deployables, you'll be needing two shop fronts, two double sheet metal doors, one single sheet metal door, and three code locks. These are all the things that you need and will need to know about the first trap base, which will require you zero electricity. Secondly, we have this simple shotgun trap trap base. This doesn't require any electricity and is a simple 2x2. Two two. This was created by XRaw, a well known trap base creator. Now, this base is designed to bait players with four juicy looking chests, which one or two of them will have here hidden code locks on. After you hear the code lock, go off and remove your chest which is hiding a three shotgun traps behind it. Then you can camp the door, not allowing the player inside to leave it without instantly dying. The chest has a research table above it, forcing the player to remove the chest and a hidden trap will be deployed. Now this base will cost you 1.375 thousand wood and 8.1 thousand stone to build it and the daily upkeep will only cost 154 metal frags, 4 wood and 1037 stone. Specific numbers. Lastly we will finish the video off with one of Oblivion's most simple trap bases requiring zero electricity and it is very easy to do. All you do is bait a person into the base that has opened doors and they will be killed by shotgun and flame turret traps. This base is somewhat avoidable however it is by far the most efficient and easy trap base to be created in Rust history although some very keen eyed Rust players may be able to recognize it. Regardless though it should work on about 99% of players. Anyway it is very self explanatory the base is basically a normal base but with shotgun traps set up behind the front door and lying up past the second. This will make it so the players walking in get shot in the back and side from shotgun traps killing them almost instantly. The way Oblivion baits players in is by farming outside when being shot or looked at. Then he runs towards the base alt looking at the player and moving slowly to the base and acting like he just went deep on a base and just starts breaking a bag which is set up to be broken. And that's it guys those are the three bases that I thought were really good that could be just made really quickly without using electricity. If you guys know of any other bases that are a bit better than these ones feel free to share them and I might even make a follow-up video to this one. But sadly, that's all the time I have for today's video. Make sure to tune in for my next video and have notifications on by subscribing and pressing the notification lads. Again, leave a comment and also tell me which trap base was your favorite and which one you think you're going to use. I love to hear feedback from you guys. But for now, guys, I hope you enjoy making your non-electricity based bases and have an awesome rest of your base. I mean day. God damn it!